Give me an L. L, give me an A. A, give me an S. H, E, S. Lashes, 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 lashes. Lashes! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I look a little crazy because I did one eye off of camera and I did my eyebrows off camera because we are gonna be doing like a chit chat, kinda get ready with me. Because so if you wanna see how I achieve this pretty Valentine's Day look and a foundation chit chat get ready with me routine, just please keep on watching. And I'm going to be taking this shade right here first for my transition shade. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this right here on my transition with a, this is another Jess, Jessup Luxe Soft Crease Brush. And I'm just, this one really has like no color too much at all. And I'm just gonna go in and work this in my crease. I just want it here for some color, just to say I got it. And I did use this brush. I did use this brush for the other eye, so it is picking up a little bit more pink because I used to blend it out with my other colors on my transition. So it's kind of looking a little bit more pink, but I don't mind. Gonna dip into that color again and put a little bit more color right here in my crease. My name, if you do not know, is Alexia Pratt. I am 22 years old and I live here in Texas. But yeah, if you want to know anything about me, let me know down in the comments below. I want to do a Q&A, but I need, you know, people to ask me questions. I'm going to go ahead and put on my Snap that I want to do a Q&A so you can ask me questions on there. If you're following me on Snapchat, if you're not, go ahead and follow me on Snapchat. All my links are down below and in my description box and in my, uh, what do you call it, in my header. So you go ahead and follow that for me. And I also do tutorials on there as well. So now that I have that pink worked in my crease, kind of more up so it's like a lighter transition, I am going to be doing another transition. I just set that there just for like a little color so it's not like that banana powder color, you know what I mean? So see what we got going on here. So the next thing, I am going to be going in with my 35B palette again. And I'm going to be dipping in with these two colors right here like I said I'm gonna go in with those two colors and I'm going to work that in my crease it's okay if it gets on your lid it's really no big deal so I'm gonna wiper motions I do tend to do the circular motions a little bit more and I like that a little bit better just because it blends it instead of just swiping it left to right just kind of blending it in the same spot so I'm just gonna go in and just kind of work this in and once I get it to the desired color that I like I will stop using this brush and I will go in with another fluffy blending brush and blend this all out just so you have no harsh lines and you want to focus some of this darker pink on the outer corner just to intensify that outer corner. And if it's looking a little crazy now, guys, don't worry because we're going to blend it all out and it's going to look like this line. You're going to be looking bomb. So you're going to go in with another fluffy blending brush of whatever type you have. Beauty blender. Beauty blender. A buffy. I'm all over the place today. So now I'm gonna be taking a clean blending brush and I'm going to just go in and lightly circular motions, windshield wiper motions, whatever you prefer, and blend this out. So right now I'm going to be taking more of a penciled fluffy brush. You can see right here that it's like penciled but it is also still fluffy. And I'm going to be dipping in with this darker pink right here and focusing this on my outer corner and halfway in my crease, so. Ready, now that we have that color on, we're going to go back in with that first brush that we used the soft crease brush and we're gonna dip in with that first pink that we used and we're gonna go ahead and 
kind of blend all this out right here to make it softer, no harsh lines, to make that transition look nicer. And if you went a little harder with the pink, you can always tone it down. I say with the pink, like we're not using nine different pinks, I feel like. Alrighty. Now that that's all blended out, we're I'm trying to make sure that this eye looks similar to this eye because this eye is blending a little bit better than this eye was, so. <laughs> so the way I'm going to cut crease is, I'm sitting very uncomfortably, so hopefully this doesn't take long, is I get that Makeup Revolution and I get a flat angled brush or you can just get a flat straight brush. It doesn't have to be angled, whatever you prefer, but I do prefer a flat brush and I go right there and I make a line and I look up and I look around oh shit don't look that far up guys cuz you creep you know well I don't know about me so Now I'm going to be going in with my, the one I've been showing you, my Chocolate Gold Too Faced palette. I love this palette. It is a palette with one, two, three, three mattes and the rest are four, nine, 13 glitters. So this is what it looks like. It's so beautiful. The colors are so pigmented. I just love this palette. And the ones I mentioned are gonna be this one, this one, and this one. So these three colors. And on top of that, I'm going to go back in with that new money color that I showed you, that pink glittery color, and I'm just going to pack that on top. Alrighty, now that we have that on, I'm going to go back in with that pointed brush again and just the, the remaining product that I have on there for right now, I'm going to go ahead and just blend this out so you don't see any harsh lines from when you cut your crease. I'm gonna go back in with that first shade that I used, that really light pink shade going to be dipping in with a new color just to intensify this color just a little bit more since I don't want to go in with this plum color since it's not pink it is kind of plum I want to go for more like a little maroon so I'm dipping into my Kylie burgundy palette and I'm going to be using the color brick it's this color right here dip 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 dab 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 tap 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 and Put this and I also dipped a little bit of the color of almond which is the darkest shade in this palette right here and I just dipped literally like the smallest tap because it like I said you'd rather have a little bit than a lot and you can't build it up And now that we have that on, we're gonna go back in with that clean blending brush that you didn't put any product on. You just kind of blend it away with it and it's a clean one. And I'm just gonna go in and blend all this up. And so I am going to pop on some lashes, go ahead and curl my lashes, put some mascara on. And after that, I will come back to finish my face. Okay, now that I have my Lashes on, my eyes are done. I did prep and prep, uh, prep and moisturize my face already using my serums and my Mario Badescu. If you wanna see how I do my skincare routine, my nighttime skin care routine in full depth and know the products that I use, let me know down below. Make sure you comment, cause I won't know unless you tell me. So right now I'm just going in with my Benefit Professional Pearl Primer. And I got this for like $13. It's the smaller one. It's not the bigger bottle that it comes in. And at Ulta. 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and you can pat this into your face or you can rub this into your face, it's up to you. So now that my face is all primed, my skin is ready for foundation. And today I am going to be using the new, drum roll please, Maybelline Superstay Foundations. These are the Maybelline up to 24 hour foundation. And I didn't know what's, cause my skin is crazy. Look, my face doesn't match my body. My chest doesn't match my body body like I don't know first I'm going to be going in with 334 warm Sun and it does come with a pump and I absolutely love that like love and I'm just going to warm this up with my finger before putting it on my face and that's how it looks right there it is really warm hence warm Sun and I'm just gonna go and work this all over my face. So I'm going in with my Morphe 439 brush. It's really dense and it's soft, but it's not really fluffy, so it's not all over your face. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work this in my skin. Oh yeah, it's really orange. I should have just went in with the... So this blend so nicely in the skin like look at that I know it's not like exactly my color but I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the lighter So now that's all nicely blended into my skin, I'd like to go in with a damp beauty blender, just pouncing this over my skin to melt in my skin, making it even more flawless and, you know, airbrushed. So for concealer, I'm going to be using two. I'm going to conceal and highlight. For concealer, I'm taking that Makeup Revolution in C10. And since I have dark circles, I'm just going right here underneath the eye. Got this concealer right there. So I'm going to be going in with my damp real technique sponge. and still get the same look you know less time less work so now that we're concealed I really like the way this oh let me get this spot y'all were probably like hello you have some on your forehead okay now that we're concealed to your liking I'm just gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape and a light medium honey so right here with the Tarte Shape Tape the infamous, you know, everybody knows about this, everyone loves it. And I'm just gonna go, and since it's really light, I'm just gonna put a few. And now I'm just going in and I'm blending this right on top of that Makeup Revolution concealer, just to highlight my under eye in this area of my face. Alrighty, so now that that's all blended out for me, to my liking, I'm going to go ahead and go back in with my foundation brush and just buff away any harsh lines that I could have had with blending that concealer. Just 
so it looks more natural. And if you feel like, in this step, if you feel like your under eye is too dark, I'm not gonna do it too much because I don't feel like that. And you just go and you just pat underneath your eye with your foundation brush. And, hmm. and like I said, I don't think it's too light. If it looks too light on camera, it's probably my ring light flushing my face out, but it's really not light at all. I'm liking the way this looks. So now I'm going to be going in with my setting powder since I'm not cream contouring. If I was cream contouring today, then I would go ahead and do that step and save the powder for the next step after that. But so I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye. And I like banana powders since I feel like I'm more of a yellow undertone. I have really bad smile lines. So I'll go ahead and set those as well. And once that's all set on my face, after bronzer, I will go ahead and clean that up. I will be taking a fluffy Sephora precision powder brush. I'm wiping that away. I don't really bake too much because it makes me look cakeier than. So now I'm just going to be going in with my favorite trial size free Hula Benefit bronzer. <laughs> this is a really warm undertone bronzer, so I love using it. And next, I'm going in with my mini real contour techniques brush that I got around Christmas time. So it's so small because they came in like little ornament boxes. And I'm just going to go and start right here and work my way down into windshield wiper motions. Swi swirling motions. Form a butter bronzer. And this bronzer has, smells so good. And it's even more subtle than the first one that I used. So, going in and just popping that in the same spot. And if I went farther down, it's okay because I'm gonna clean it up. So my next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to set all these powders into the skin is I'm gonna take my Mario Bardescu and just spray my face a few times just to set all these powders into place before I move on to blush, highlight, and finish my eyes, and then we're done. So I'm gonna be taking a, another powder. Oh, this is a contour brush, but I'm gonna be using it for blush. It's from Sephora. And I'm gonna smile and work this right here on my cheeks. So I'm gonna just go press this powder in the skin. I always tend after I put on a powder, I'll go ahead and just kind of press it in the skin just so it kind of melts away. And in any dusty extra product that's on my face, it kind of just gets picked up by this beauty blender. So if it's not needed, you know, it don't need to be there. So yeah, what I'm gonna go ahead and do next is I'm going to finish my eyes and I will do that on camera. So I'm just gonna go ahead with this brush again with the excess black, black with the excess purple that it has on there. I'm just gonna go ahead and work that on my bottom lash line. I'm out of color, so I'm gonna go back in. And I'm gonna go back in with that 35B palette and pretty much like a few colors that I put on my, um, on my lid, that's what I'm going to, or on my crease, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and put. Now that my eyes are done, the almost last step besides the highlighter and the lip gloss and the spray, we are gonna do these inner corners, girl. And I think I wanna be gold, like really extra and do like a gold in my inner corner. So next I'm going to be using a once upon a time labeled Eco Tools pencil. And I, it's just a really pointed brush like that. 
And I'm just going to go in with, I think I'm looking at this hmm, chocolate gold right here. It's speaking to me. I know it's like out there, but whatever. Go ahead and... Oh, 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 whatever. And since I'm really liking this gold, the way it just kind of popped out my eye, I'm gonna go ahead, put a little bit right in the center. I just literally like went like this. Boop. So now I'm going to be going in with some more highlight because that's simply not enough for my look. So I'm gonna go in with another Makeup Revolution strobe highlighter and it looks like this. It's so bomb, it's so pretty. So I'm gonna be going in with a fluffy fan brush, spraying that, you know, how I do. And literally, ooh. Look at that, look at that. Put, go get your shades, go put them on because like, this is a super glam look too. To me it is because when I do highlight like this, I go overboard. I put highlight everywhere on my face. Forehead, everywhere. Chin, upper lip, everything. And you know what I did forget to do, but honestly it doesn't matter because I can go back and do it right now. And I'm gonna go back in and clean this up. Just take another fluffy brush and just blend that downwards. So I'm just gonna go ahead, spray my face. With a bunch of spray. Now that we have our mascara on, I'm about to go run and get my, um, lip gloss so back to the lip oil put this on my lips and I'm just going to be using my trusty Fenty Beauty gloss bomb bomb gloss whatever you want to call it and put this on my lips This is my favorite lip gloss. The final look, I really like the way it came out. The concealer, because it was a new concealer from the Makeup Revolution and to the new foundations so if you like the way this looks this valentine's day look hopefully i can have some more looks for you guys i think i want to use purple tomorrow i think purple might be the wave so if you like the way this looks make sure you are subscribed like this video like i said before ask me any questions or if you have any questions on how i did this look let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys in my next video